Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share a short clip from my Pluralsight course on how to build machine learning models with Azure Machine Learning Studio. To watch the full course, head over to the link in the description below. Thanks. And now let's head over to the video. Now that we have a better understanding of what Azure Machine Learning is, we're going to go ahead and jump into a demonstration of what it looks like. This demo is going to show us how to deploy an Azure Machine Learning Designer environment. Once it's deployed, we'll go ahead and explore what Azure Machine Learning Designer has to offer. And we'll also get to create our first compute inside of the Azure Machine Learning Studio. Here in my Azure portal, I created a resource called Build ML Model. It's currently empty, so I'll click the Add button to create a new resource. And on here, I'll select AI plus Machine Learning. And the first option you see is the machine learning. Go ahead and select that. And this will take you to the place where we're going to create our Azure Machine Learning workspace. I already have my resource group created. So what I'm going to do first is give the workspace a name. I'll call mine's Dios ML workspace. One thing you notice is as you type your workspace name, the storage account and the key vault also use the same name as a prefix and add some numbers after to make it unique. The only one that doesn't have this is the container registry. You'll notice there's a create new button right under it. So go ahead and select that. I'll call mine DIOCR and press save. Going on to the next few tabs, I'll leave the information there as default for the networking, advanced, and tagging information. And this will take me to the review and create tab, where I'll see a full list of all that will be created. This looks good, so I'll select the create button at the bottom. This will begin deploying the workspace, and it might take a few minutes, so I'll continue once it's done. We should now see the resource has deployed successfully. Select go to resource. And we will be taken to the Azure Machine Learning workspace. In the center of the workspace will be the launch studio button. This will open a new tab that will take us to the Azure Machine Learning Studio, where we will spend most of our time in this course. In the Azure Machine Learning Studio, if you look in the top center, we can see the different options to create an ML project. We can use the notebook, automated ML, or the designer. And if you look on the left hand side, we will see all those same options under the author section. We also have an asset section where we have the data sets, experiments, pipelines, models, and endpoints. And all of this is going to be from the machine learning projects. And last, we have the management piece, which includes the compute, data store, and data labeling. As I've mentioned already, the designer will be where we'll be focusing on. So let's go ahead and select it. This will open up the designer section, and we can see some pre-built samples. Go ahead and select the button to view more samples. I'm going to select one of them to show an example of what to expect in the designer. You can close the sentence tab for now. We'll talk about that shortly. For now, we can see an example of what the designer looks like and how it sets up a pipeline for machine learning. For now, back to the settings tabs, we can go up to the top besides the blue submit button to select the gear icon. This will open the settings section. One thing that stands out right away is the warning sign saying we have no compute. So if I try to submit this sample design project, it would not run. So to create it, select the blue button that says select a compute target. We don't have an existing one, so we will select the create new. It gives you a recommendation of a compute size to use. If you want to use another compute size, you have to go to the compute section on the left hand side. But for now, I'll go with the recommendation. I'll give it a name. I'll call it Dios Training Cluster. Press save. 
And now that we've registered the name, go ahead and press save again. And this will take a few minutes to create. If you click on the compute tab on the left hand side under compute cluster, you should see the cluster is created. Let's give it a few seconds to complete. Great. We can see it's all set. Now that it's done, go ahead and click on the cluster name. You'll notice it's currently using zero nodes. To better understand this, click on the edit button and you see that it is set to use a minimum of zero nodes and a maximum of two nodes. This means that if there isn't a job running, no nodes will be spun up. And if there is a job, the maximum amount of nodes it will spin up is two. This is very helpful to save cost on compute while running your machine learning pipelines. Thank you for watching this clip of my course on Pluralsight. Please head over to the link in the description to watch the full course at Pluralsight.com. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I'll see you in the next one.